the 10 most famous sculptors in the world. We will explore the life, masterpieces, and cultural impact of these talented artists. Join us as we discover the beauty and power of sculpture through the eyes of the greatest creators of all time. These are the most important sculptors of all time. Number 10. Louise Bourgeois. Louise Bourgeois was a noted French-American sculptor and visual artist. She was born on December 25, 1911 in Paris, France, and passed away on May 31, 2010 in New York, United States. Bourgeois is recognized for her significant contribution to contemporary art, especially in the field of sculpture. Bourgeois' artistic career spanned more than seven decades, during which she explored a wide range of subjects and techniques. Her work addressed themes such as femininity, sexuality, the human body, and family relationships, and she often explored her own personal and emotional history in her work. One of the distinctive features of bourgeois art is her focus on the representation of organic and architectural forms. Her sculptures often feature abstract and symbolic figures that evoke human emotions and experiences. She used a variety of materials in her work, including wood, metal, stone, plaster, and fabric, and combined different techniques to create unique and evocative pieces. Bourgeois became a leading figure on the international art scene in the 1980s, receiving recognition and respect from her colleagues and critics. Her work has been exhibited in numerous renowned galleries and museums around the world, and has left a lasting impact on contemporary art. Number 9. Alberto Giacometti. Alberto Giacometti was a leading Swiss sculptor of the 20th century. He was born on October 10, 1901 in Borgonovo, Switzerland, and died on January 11, 1966 in Chur, Switzerland. He is known for his distinctive approach to depicting the human figure and his characteristic style that reflects fragility and existential angst. Giacometti began his artistic training in Switzerland and then moved to Paris in the 1920s, where he became involved with avant-garde art movements of the time, such as surrealism. During his time in Paris, he developed his unique sculptural approach, creating elongated, stylized figures that conveyed a sense of isolation and desolation. His most famous work is, Walking Man I, a series of sculptures of slender, elongated men that became his hallmark. These slender, almost abstract figures capture the sense of movement and human loneliness in a modern world. Throughout his career, Giacometti experimented with different materials, including bronze and plaster, and his technique was characterized by painstaking and detailed application of the surface. As his style evolved, his sculptures became increasingly stylized and skeletal, emphasizing the fragility and vulnerability of the human figure. Number 8. Constantin Brancusi. Constantin Brancusi was a prominent Romanian sculptor who lived between 1876 and 1957. He is recognized as one of the pioneers of modern art and one of the most influential sculptors of the 20th century. He was born into a peasant family in the Carpathia region of Romania. From a young age he showed great talent for wood carving and sculpture, and this led him to study at the Bucharest School of Fine Arts. Subsequently, he moved to Paris, the artistic capital of the time, where he became an apprentice to Auguste Rodin, another renowned sculptor. Although Brancusi was exposed to Rodin's style, he soon began to develop his own artistic language. He embraced simplicity and geometry in his works, seeking to capture the spiritual essence of natural objects and shapes. His sculptures are characterized by clean lines, polished surfaces and a minimalist aesthetic. Throughout his career, Brancusi explored a variety of subjects, from portraiture to abstract figures and sculpture inspired by mythology. Some of his best-known works include The Kiss, an abstract depiction of a couple in an embrace, and The Bird in Space, 
a sculpture that challenges the traditional notion of a bird figure. As his work gained recognition, Brancusi became an important figure in the modernist movement and established his own studio in Paris. There, he worked closely with avant-garde artists and became a mentor to young sculptors. His influence extended beyond Europe and he reached artists all over the world. Number 7. Camille Claudel. Camille Claudel was a prominent French sculptor born on December 8, 1864 in Fier and Tardenois, France, and died on October 19, 1943 in Montdevergues, France. She is known for her talent and her contribution to the art world, as well as her tragic personal life. Claudel studied at the Colorossi Academy in Paris and became a student of the famous sculptor Auguste Rodin. She worked alongside him for several years, influencing each other's art. Her style was characterized by her ability to capture emotion and expression in her work. Throughout her career, Claudel created numerous notable sculptures, most notably, the Middle Ages, and, the Abnegation. Her pieces exhibited incredible technical prowess and detailed focus on the representation of the human figure. However, despite her talents, Claudel's life was marked by tragedy. Her relationship with Rodin became tumultuous and ended in 1898, which had a significant impact on her mental health. Thereafter, she began to experience bouts of paranoia and was admitted to various psychiatric hospitals for the rest of her life. During her internment, Ella Claudel continued to create sculptures, but her artistic output declined significantly. Much of her work was forgotten until after her death, when her talent and her contribution to her art were finally recognized and valued. Number 6. Antonio Canova. Antonio Canova was a prominent Italian sculptor of the 18th and early 19th centuries. He was born on November 1, 1757 in Passano, Venice. Canova became an influential figure in neoclassical art, known for his ability to capture idealized beauty and elegance in his work. From an early age, Canova displayed a talent for art and was supported by his family in his artistic development. He studied at the Venice Academy of Fine Arts and soon gained recognition for his technical skills and his ability to sculpt with great detail and realism. As his reputation grew, Canova received important commissions from European high society, including members of the nobility and royalty. Notable works by him include Cupid and Psyche, the Rape of Europa, and The Three Graces. He is also known for his sculpted portraits, including the famous bust of Napoleon Bonaparte. Canova's style was characterized by its classical approach and its references to Greek and Roman mythology. His sculptures featured idealized, balanced and harmonious figures, with meticulous attention to anatomical detail and a serene expression. In addition to his artistic talent, Canova was also recognized for his work ethic and his dedication to perfecting his craft. As he progressed in his career, he became an advocate of classical art and strove to preserve and promote the classical sculptural tradition at a period when romantic art was beginning to gain popularity. Antonio Canova passed away on October 13, 1822 in Venice, leaving a lasting legacy in the art world. Number 5. Auguste Rodin. Auguste Rodin was a leading French sculptor who lived between 1840 and 1917. He is considered one of the most influential artists in the history of modern sculpture. Rodin revolutionized the way of representing the human body and explored new techniques and styles. Born in Paris, Rodin displayed artistic talent from an early age, but faced difficulties getting accepted to the École des Beaux-Arts. Despite these obstacles, he persevered in his passion and developed his own unique style. Rodin is known for his realistic and emotional sculptures, which capture beauty and humanity in monumental forms. Among his most famous works is The Thinker, 
a male figure that represents introspection and deep thought. He also created The Kiss, a sculpture that shows love and passion in an eternal embrace. One of the hallmarks of Rodin's sculptures is his focus on texture and detail. His works often show muscle tension, skin wrinkles, and expressive gestures, giving them a sense of life and movement. Number 4. Donatello. Donatello was a noted Italian sculptor of the Renaissance who lived between the years 1386 and 1466. Born in Florence, Italy, his real name was Donato di Niccolo di Beto Bardi. He is known for his ability to create realistic sculptures and for being one of the pioneers in the use of perspective and anatomy in his works. Donatello received artistic training from him in the workshop of Lorenzo Ghiberti, famous for his work on the Gates of Paradise of the Florence Baptistry. Although his style was initially inspired by the Gothic tradition, he soon developed his own unique approach. One of Donatello's most outstanding works is the Bronze David, a life-size sculpture depicting the famous biblical character. This work is considered one of the first depictions of a moving, nude human figure in Renaissance art. Donatello also created numerous sculptures for the Florence Cathedral and other important churches of the time. Among them is the Saint George, a marble sculpture that shows the saint fighting a dragon. This piece showcases his mastery of the representation of the human figure and his ability to capture expression and emotion. In addition to his technical skill, Donatello was also innovative in terms of composition and storytelling. His works convey a sense of movement and drama, and manage to tell stories through sculpture. Number 3. Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Gian Lorenzo Bernini was a leading 17th-century Italian sculptor, known for his exceptional ability to create masterpieces in marble. He was born on December 7, 1598 in Naples and grew up in a family of artists. Bernini demonstrated an early talent in sculpture and began his career at an early age. His style was characterized by the realistic and dynamic representation of his figures, capturing the emotion and vitality in his works. In addition to sculpture, he also dabbled in architecture and painting, although his fame rests mainly on his sculptures. Among his most outstanding works is The Ecstasy of Santa Teresa, a marble sculpture that represents Saint Teresa of Avila in a state of mystical ecstasy. This masterpiece is a perfect example of Bernini's ability to capture movement and emotional expression in sculpture. Another of his iconic works is the Baldachin of St. Peter in St. Peter's Basilica, in the Vatican. This impressive bronze structure is located above the main altar and rises to the roof of the basilica. It is a sample of Bernini's Baroque style and his ability to combine architecture and sculpture in a single work. Bernini also left his mark on the city of Rome with St. Peter's Square and the Fountain of the Four Rivers in Piazza Navona, among other architectural and sculptural works. Throughout his life, Bernini received numerous commissions from important ecclesiastical and noble figures, which allowed him to cement his position as one of the most influential artists of his time. Gian Lorenzo Bernini passed away on November 28, 1680 in Rome, leaving behind an artistic legacy that continues to amaze the world. Number 2. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci was a famous Italian sculptor, painter, inventor, and scientist of the Renaissance. He was born on April 15, 1452 in Vinci, a small town in the Tuscany region of Italy. He is considered one of the most influential geniuses in history due to his diversity of talents and his ability to span multiple disciplines. Da Vinci is mainly recognized for his pictorial work, highlighting masterpieces such as The Last Supper and The Mona Lisa. His paintings are characterized by his meticulous technique, his sense of realism and his mastery of chiaroscuro. His scientific approach is reflected in his detailed study of human anatomy, 
which allowed him to capture facial features and form with astonishing precision. In addition to his artistic talent, Leonardo da Vinci was a prolific inventor and scientist. He developed ideas and designs for flying machines, submarines, siege weapons, and many other visionary inventions that were ahead of his time. His sketchbooks and writings contain numerous sketches and reflections on a wide range of subjects, from optics to hydraulics. Leonardo da Vinci's curious and observant nature led him to also study disciplines such as geology, botany and paleontology. His scientific observations and investigations demonstrated his unique understanding of the natural world and his desire to unravel its mysteries. Number 1. Michelangelo. Michelangelo Buonarroti was a famous Italian Renaissance sculptor, painter and architect born on March 6, 1475 in Caprese, Italy, and died on February 18, 1564 in Rome. He is considered one of the most influential artists in the history of Western art. From an early age, Michelangelo displayed artistic talent and received training in Florence, where he worked with some of the greatest artists of the day. His style was characterized by precise anatomy and emotional expressiveness in his works. One of his most famous works is David, a marble sculpture that represents the biblical character. Other notable works include La Piedad, a sculpture of the Virgin Mary holding the body of Jesus, and the Moises, a monumental statue of Moses. In addition to sculpture, Michelangelo left an indelible mark on Renaissance painting and architecture. He painted frescoes in the Vatican's Sistine Chapel, including the famous ceiling with the creation of Adam and the Last Judgment on the altar wall. He also participated in the construction of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, designing the dome that became an icon of the city. Michelangelo was an artist with a restless mind and a perfectionist. His artistic legacy has left a profound influence on later generations of artists and his work continues to be admired and studied to this day. His contribution to Renaissance art and his ability to capture human beauty in his works make him one of the great masters of art history.